Hi there, my name is Chris Stanning. I'm the CEO of Tech Quarters. Uh, we're an IT services business and we're based here at Sunny Vauxhall. So uh, I'm asked this question all the time and let's help you understand what it's all about. What is Microsoft Azure? Okay, so let's look at some of the facts. Interestingly, Microsoft have built these data centers all around the world. They've been doing it for donkey's years now, almost 15 to 20 years. They have 17 of these data centers worldwide that host all these racks and racks of servers and what you would call compute. Okay, it's a bit techy, but think of it like this. Massive clouds out there in big old data centers with great big fat pipes going into them for you, the end consumer and the business to connect to and use on a user basis. Okay, so 15 billion invested in, the, in these data centers. That's a huge amount. So, you know, Microsoft are betting with the cloud. I've just recently come back from WPC, which is their world partner conference, and it's all been about their investment into the cloud. Uh, as your hosting, as, it, as you can see, it's been around since the 90s. They used to host MSN on it in the early 90s. That moved into Hotmail, then Bing, recently Xbox. And in the last five years, they put Office 365 onto the hosted Azure infrastructure. I think they have a 99.9% .9 uptime. That means about 8.76 hours of downtime allowed per annum. That's not a lot, is it really? And you get them financially backed with these service levels. So you get your money back if they don't meet the service levels. Okay, so let's have a look at some of the Azure stats. Really interesting stuff here. You have a 57% amount of the Fortune 500 companies all using Microsoft Azure. In last year, they put the Azure stats year on year growth 177%. Just very quickly, 7,500 new Azure customers in the last year alone. I was talking to one of the very high up marketing bots and the product spec bots in corporate Microsoft at WPC and they told me they take on a new customer every 75 seconds. And this is the interesting one as well. Most of you will have heard of Amazon Web Services. Well, Azure is growing twice as fast as Amazon did. And they've got a nine times growth on the whole of the infrastructure as a service usage. Wow, lots of stats, but hey, really interesting. So why would you use Azure over going out and buying your own servers and building your internal infrastructure? Well. There's no need to buy that hardware again. Microsoft have bought all that tin. They've actually put it into their data centers. They've installed all the operating systems onto it. They've created the virtual machines for you to consume and use at a fraction of the rate that it would cost you to build your own infrastructure. It's a real commodity feel. In fact, what I can tell you is, Microsoft believed that there were gonna be three commodity players in the hosted data center market in the future. Amazon, who are already there, Microsoft Azure and Google. I, I, I think you can put your money with Microsoft because of all of those other cloud solutions such as SQL, Office 365, hosted servers, you know, and all the development, the .NET, the Xbox, they have the product suite to, uh, to take the future forward for the cloud. So you can pay monthly as well. Um, that's the best thing about it. You don't have to have this upfront cost. You can just pay on a monthly basis and put it onto an operational expenditure budget. You get your server upgrades and the whole of the Azure infrastructure free of charge. And that's the best thing, isn't it? You never have to go out and buy that server again. You know, if you were trying to renew your server every four to five years, forget about it. Microsoft will do it all for you free of charge. And yet because of this, because the infrastructure is already provided, you've got much lower setup costs. Let's look at some of the solutions, actually, that you can use with Azure. I mean, there are probably 20 or so services within Azure. Once you set up your portal, once we get you into it, we can help you understand what you can do with Azure. But let's see that these are some of the main protagonists. Clearly, servers in the cloud, hosted servers, some people call those virtual machines. Uh, you can also put your domain controller in the cloud. Think about this. If you've got your own network and you log onto your network, you're logging on and you're authenticating against your domain controller. That's the server in the corner of the room. The great news about this is if that server ever died, you can replicate that out to Azure so you get a duplicate logon. So you can still access all of your resources, all of your printers, all little local storage devices by having a small domain controller replicated out into the cloud. 
You can also have this thing called Active Directory Premium. It's the latest thing, and Microsoft are combining with all the superpowers of software out there and giving you a single sign-on. So take Salesforce for CRM, uh, take Oracle. You know, all of these will have log-on capability, but you can synchronize that with your own domain controller very, very simply. It just needs to be connected up. So you only have to log on with one user ID and one password once. Backup and disaster recovery. Clearly you can back up all your data out to the cloud and it's a lot more cost effective. You know, the price per gigabyte of storage space out there on Azure is a fraction of what it would cost to all of those other backup devices and backup services out there in the cloud. Disaster recovery. This comes in the shape of we can replicate your local Azure servers as virtual machines out onto an Azure virtual machine. So if this actual server broke, we can just spin up a copy of that virtual machine out there on the internet and give you remote access so you can carry on operating your, uh, your business uh, in, the, in the event of a disaster. Um, Enterprise Mobility Suite, this is a huge thing. It has three different components and it's the latest thing that Microsoft are packaging, it, packaging up for your business. You can put antivirus on the system, which is managed from the cloud using Windows Intune. You can have rights management service, it's called, which gives you the ability to put extra security on documents that might be stored locally or out on cloud servers. And you can actually do some auditing of all of your, uh, your uh, suite of desktops and products and everything in your network infrastructure, all managed from one enterprise portal for a combination uh, package price. They call them plans at Microsoft and you'll get up to a 40% saving if you choose to get the plan rather than the actual cloud separates. Uh, remote apps, this is really great, you've got to get to know this. Most of your products in the future, most of your applications are going to move to cloud, what they call SaaS based products. Okay, the interesting thing about this is that you're already using them. So who uses Hotmail out here? Yeah, most of you I guess. Okay, so when you log on, that is a SaaS based product, what they call a multi-tenanted cloud-based application because you've got multiple people connecting in with their user ID and password. What Remote App does is it takes all of your applications, it stores them on Azure, and it gives you a, an icon on your desktop that you can double click on and it opens it up just like a Hotmail thing would, but you can also synchronize all of those logons with your domain controller in the cloud. It's a whole new way of doing things. It's basically meaning you can put all of your applications into the cloud and connect to them and work harmoniously from any separate device. And of course, yep, the main protagonist, storage. Everybody loves to store all their archive data out there onto the cloud for a fraction of the normal cost to keep it local or save it in all these hard drives. So, you know, the pricing is really simple as well. You can pay for a particular service or you can pay on a usage basis. Let me give you an example. We help customers with hosted servers. We can charge you a fixed rate per month for that specification of server. So you know what you're going to budget, you know what you're going to spend, and if your usage goes above that, which we, we bank on it not going above, so you can, you can actually budget for it. If it does, there's a small overage charge just for that month. So it's really easy to budget, really easy to view what you're going to spend with Azure. And it's monthly payments as well. Yep, so you don't actually have to spend all this money up front. You just keep putting it on a monthly payment operational budget. Oh, great. So we're at the end now. It's enough of me talking. We'd love to hear from you. Just give us a call on 0800 148 8001 or email us at tellmemore at techquarters. Look forward to speaking to you soon. Thanks for listening. Cheers.